Are you looking for a way to help serve your country as a healthcare professional? Did you know you could work for Army Medicine as a civilian and not be subjected to military requirements like enlistment or deployment? Approximately 45,000 civilians make up 60% of the Army Medical Command's workforce, playing a huge role in serving our country by caring for our service members. When you look at or even think about military, you think that's a big thing and it's very important because it says protection, it says safety, it says you're an important person. So um, being able to take information back saying, hey, you know what, this, this percentage of these people who you think are important or have this role in life, could be you. That's motivating to me, you know, job-wise and personally. The Civilian Corps has hundreds of job openings in 25 different medical, dental, and behavioral health professions. Since 2010, the U.S. Army Medicine Civilian Corps has conducted focus group sessions and research studies across the nation with medical and behavioral health professionals, along with individuals with disabilities. These sessions help assess the best way to reach prospective candidates about these worldwide opportunities. I thought today's session was very, very informative, and I really enjoyed hearing um, all the other people speak and, and how they would go about finding jobs for people with challenges. The goal? To get feedback on its marketing materials used for recruitment, Focus group sessions allow participants to share their thoughts and ideas about the U.S. Army Medicine Civilian Corps website, along with the print materials used for advertising. You're able to gain more information, you know, obviously ask more questions. It's um, more on an intimate, that type of level for um, looking for a career. I had an opportunity to learn more about the types of people that I work with on a daily basis and in terms of what reaches them best and what are they most attracted to when they're um, seeing an advertisement. So for example, symbol versus um, using people's faces and what reaches to them and pulls them into something. Since the Civilian Corps implemented these focus group sessions and research studies in 2010, changes and improvements have been made as a result of the feedback. Its identity changed from being army-centric to more civilian-focused. This is evident within its responsive website and in the messaging and images used for advertising. The number of applications the Civilian Corps sees in a year has reached nearly 5,000. I like what, what you guys are doing with the Civilian Corps. I would like to be able to find a way to implement it into the orientations that I do. The U.S. Army Medicine Civilian Corps will continue to use focus group and research study findings to refine its recruitment campaign. To have someone come in from that big of an organization and say, hey, I want you to work, you can do this, let me see how I can help you. They're like, wow, really? So I think that's awesome.